this project really stemmed from a need expressed by the NFPA 13 technical committees who, who have no guidance right now on how to protect um, batteries in, in storage. And they're appearing everywhere, so uh, there was a strong need uh, expressed by the insurance industry, really, to get that information into 13. We did a couple of preparatory projects looking at hazard assessment over the whole life cycle. We also did a, a survey of what kind of batteries are appearing in warehouses now. And based on all of that, we selected three types of batteries that are in common use and um, uh, designed in conjunction and collaboration with FM Global and our technical panel, a research program designed to characterize the flammability of this product in cartons in storage. Um, because of the cost of the batteries, we couldn't do our full-scale, normal, big commodity classification test. But um, FM developed a very unique appro research approach to this problem where uh, we could minimize the, the cost of the batteries involved in testing and gather the information that we might need to compare the performance of the batteries to other commodities that we understand and have a lot of history with in practice and, and therefore can compare the sprinkler protection criteria that would be applied. So uh, ran those tests in the fall. Uh, followed up with actually some water-based tests, um, not on the batteries, but on the analogous commodity in the spring. And based on all of that work, we've got this rich amount of information now that uh, tells us a couple of things. One, we have confidence that there can be a water-based solution, a sprinkler-based solution for these products in storage, and uh, has given us you know, some really good direction on what we need to do to take the next step to give information to 13.